There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the last stream on the left. I am Ben Kissel. Uh, uh, Vinnie Paul is dead. <laughs> really? Who's Vinnie, who's Vinnie Paul? He's the drummer for Pantera. Oh, no yeah, shit, how'd he okay. die? You didn't hear about no, that? No, I didn't. Really? I've been working all day. Hadn't had no time for news. We heard about that at the Rainbow Room. Yeah, That's dude, where they played like Pantera. Yeah. It was all Pantera <laughs> all night long at the Rainbow Room, which I, I don't... Was, I thought they were just having a Pantera night. <laughs> it's because I Vinnie mean, Paul is dead. <laughs> but they did have a Pantera night, and they do have Pantera nights, but yeah, he's, yeah he died of, like, um... something. Yeah, I think it was it was too much fun disease. Yeah, um, I I hate that too much fun disease, because it always comes right at the peak of how much fun you're having, and then just... River Phoenix, man. Mm, uh-huh. How did he die? I think he was shot. <laughs> I don't think Vinnie Paul was shot. He wasn't shot? No. I'm looking. No. This is a very long article. It should start with how he died. I think it's two Vinnie members Paul cause of, of death. I think if two members of Pantera died by a gunshot wound, I think that would be a bigger story. That's Phil the most is... metal thing in the world. It says <laughs> massive heart attack. <laughs> oh, well, that's also Phil's fault. He put a hit out on Vinnie and his heart took advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Just like hey, he did to Dimebag. You, you were really hit by this very hard. You've been talking about this every once in a while. It pops back up. You say, like, I've been listening to Pantera a lot. You're like, you're... Yeah, man. It's it triggering. Was, it uh, was, because this was a big band for me. Southern Trend Kill, Far Beyond Driven. I mean, these this was like huge albums for me growing up. My father broke Far Beyond Driven yeah. across his knee. You ever seen the uh, original cover to Far Beyond Driven? It's a drill, right, going into the head? It's a drill right, going right in the ass. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's Hell a big yeah, drill going right into a big ass. More like pain, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. That is good. They should have asked you to name the albums. <laughs> Whatever happened to album art? What do you mean? Whatever happened to a man <laughs> or a woman sitting down and really just thinking about how do we trip out our fucking listeners when you got the album cover, the CD cover, and you're looking at it. And I remember like the Dookie one it had all little drawings in it, yeah. super mm -hmm. offensive. And you'd listen to the album and you'd be like, oh, yeah. And now we've got like the most art and 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 ways of producing art that's ever been. And now everyone right. just doesn't do that shit anymore. Uh, I, a lot of bands release shit on vinyl, and that's where the album art is. Yeah, that's remember where that? the art is. <laughs> do you guys remember that story that was in the? By the way, this is. It, it's it's Travis's, aka Titty's mandate today. So okay, at some point we'll do that. But <laughs> we will be showing the videos. We will be Titties has, yeah. Titties has survived enough tragedies. Oh. And no, the no, next, no, like, no, 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 no. In no. Dragon in Dragon Ball Z, there is an attack called the Spirit Bomb, mm -hmm. and this is where Goku asks for a little bit of energy from everyone on the planet so that he can defeat Frieza. Ah. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing tonight mm -hmm. because I am very tired. Yep. Uh, I, have, I have summoned the energy from Marcus, Ben, and Henry. And I even, don't have much left. Yeah, even, I think you're gonna fall asleep. And even <laughs> Eric. But I'm gonna spirit bomb the fuck out of everyone. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, well I was great. just gonna say, do you remember that story in the, in the uh, pamphlet for Kerplunk? When it was the kid who cut up his parents and yeah, then put them. Yeah, that was cool. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Fuck yeah, mm -hmm. It's like Hanson. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. man. Fucking, I miss the old days, man. New days suck. They do. Getting worse by the day? All Every right. Every day, man. Mm -hmm. Ah, man. Sitting in my wicker chair. <laughs> you best believe, man. The best part about wicker chair, you put some milk on it and it's fucking cereal. <laughs> 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 well, that's kind of true. All right, titties, why don't you show some of these people what you mean? Let's gather some energy for us. Let's do this. I'm gathering from the largest source of energy there is, Howie Mandel. Mm. Oh. It's Howie from Maui. Uh, <laughs> one of the highest paid comedians of all time. And welcome to my this guy judges comedy competitions. This is incredible. <laughs> Whoa, let's do this. He'll do this, but he won't shake your hand. Well, the gods must be crazy. Oh, one must be 
Oh my god, he's oh. worse than Gallagher. This is oh. a fucking show. This is a show. This is a show. What we, like, what we do is a farce. Oh this is god. fucking. A, this is an actual. Show. <laughs> this man judges <laughs> talent in this country. This is the downfall of our. Hit. Oh my god. What's the name of the dance? Holo holo ka. And which translates into English? It's a crazy car ride. The crazy car ride, which you can tell just from the name, must be ancient. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, how we been tell? Old school. Are you a virgin? You don't know. Yeah, gangbanger. A couple of minutes ago, but now you've had four Hawaiians to meet you, slut you. Jesus, somebody's talking. My God. This is a show. This is entertainment. This man is a germaphobe. You will not shake a hand or even look at. Can I pick your nipple? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, back in the day. <laughs> Thank you, Grammy Ghost. That is great. Wow. American legend. But honestly, it's putting showmanship in, okay? We sit here, we're just picking these videos out and just flinging them like our, like our old cum-filled underwear. Just like slapping them at the audience for how we used to go out there and put a fucking rigging suit on and fly around, man. That's it. 45 minutes of pre-pro. It seems like he just had a wind machine and he just forgot to get his rubber glove, which that used to be his closer. He'd yeah. put that on his face and blow it up. And again, yeah. I think he's worth 125 million bucks. How much is Howie Mandel worth? Can we find that out? Because I think it's 125 million bucks. It's got to wow. be quite a bit, but I will tell you what, man. You know, whew, he could 40 million. 40 million. 40 million. Good. He deserves every cent of it. Yikes. He was there Man, a Man, how does he there? still have it? No. How does he continue to have all that money? I mean, he just constantly... Isn't he a judge and America's got, like, a bunch of fucking idiots to go on stage? <laughs> I guess isn't so. He, he earns $70,000 per episode of America's Got Talent. <sighs> Good for him. Good for wow. him. Per we, so he just, we, should, we should be so lucky when yeah. we get to that age. That Howie, we just rolled out. Howie Mandel was also the voice of Gizmo. Yeah. Oh yeah, really? yeah, I mean that. The only good thing he ever did, mm -hmm. and and Bobby's World, I kind of like Bobby's World. It was okay. I like Bobby's World. Yeah, I like Bobby's. I world. liked it. It wasn't as good as Life with Louie. No. Remember no, that no. with the big goldfish? Yeah. Nor was no, it as good as Eat the Cat. That's that's true. I like that's what I did like. I like Louis Anderson now. Actually, Louis Anderson's kind of coming back. I'm I'm enjoying him more He's, and more recently. What's the name of that show he's in with Zach Galifianakis? Baskets. I watched a little bit of that, and he was good. It's good. It's yeah. good. It's like one of those comedy shows without all like the burden of being like super funny. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it, it, it was very sad what I saw because you know Louis is a very scarred, traumatized person, like all of us. Mm -hmm. But he really lets the audience know that he's not happy to be there. But I, we got to get back to not to, to how he's not calling people sluts and grabbing them and putting soup all over yeah, their face. Yeah, weird. But, the, but the simplicity of just putting a rubber glove over your head with something international, because that's what <laughs> true comedy is. Like a Marcel Marceau being able right. to just take like, look, it's like a cup, right? Mm -hmm. Like what Robin Williams does, I, where he takes it, he goes, cup. Oh, oh. and oh. then he's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a toucan, and Whoa. then he goes, oh, oh, what is this? Oh, it's a but you can't spin ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ho, 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 ho. That's comedy. Yeah, that would that would work well on Safari. A lot of toucan jokes. <laughs> what? what? Safari, Safari comedian Henry Zabrowski. <laughs> how how many toucan jokes? Uh, can two, uh, I don't know, Kissel. Don't know. I was in I, Austin recently, and uh, oh. I don't drink, so instead of going out and having fun. Uh, my girlfriend and I just watched Christian television um, oh, for hours. Best. Which is great. Oh, and TV, it's the best. There's this TV one head. show called Heartland and there's something like 22 seasons of it. And this is the first, this is how I was first introduced to this show, this scene. This is going to be good. Let's see what I can really do. <laughs> <laughs> There is no <laughs> reason for it. The chosen people. 
<laughs> what is this show? Oh, I see what he's doing. What's he doing? He's, te he's testing the horse to make sure the horse isn't skittish. Make sure the horse is calm. Yeah, all you gotta do is give it CBD like you give the dog to the children. There's no question there. It has what it takes. Wow. He's, he's testing Wait a the, I, Yeah, no, I, I know exactly what that guy is. There's he's no question he has what it takes. <laughs> no question. This is, all right, so... This is what I imagine, Marcus, when you were on the farm, that this was that like your main job is to like go see if the boy scares the horses. <laughs> you just go around there, it's going like, <laughs> it's like making fucking goblin noises out of it. I'll shit. tell you one thing, you didn't scare it, but that horse is rock hard. <laughs> what are you doing out there, Marcus? You ever seen a rock hard horse? I, man, yes, we yeah. all. Yep. No, I mean in, in person. No, I know. No, I was at a farm one. Why did you? I'm going to go down. I'm going on the horse prostitute ranch <laughs> so I can see how big their fucking cocks get. That's there was what a couple, we're doing. There was a couple of farms just south of the city of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. I was mm -hmm. a city boy. Yeah. Um, and I saw, yeah, I saw. I remember a uh, guy named Dave. He had a farm out there. You and know, there was, there was a, a couple of those. I may be remembering this wrong. Uh, but I remember. <laughs> but I remember when I was a kid, there was a, a stud in a pen with the mare, and they had to put them in together. But they didn't want the stud to mate with the mare, but they still wanted the stud to mate eventually. So I remember them putting a big old cock ring, or something, around the horse's cock that kept it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, so well, I'm just happy you to just throw you in there to, to divert him. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like it was really just you told like it was, me seems that like it was I made of metal. So they put a clamp on its dick. Pretty much. Right. But it was it fit inside nicely. It was shaped like a dick. Is it just too I think everyone on last podcast doesn't know what a cock ring does. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I, I have no idea because I bought one from a gas station and I tried it one time and all it did was hurt and made me not you, not shoot. But I thought I think that it was a point. You just bought like a lug nut. Yeah. Did you buy an actual from a gas station? Yeah, from a gas station. Were little vibrating ones that you could get. Because like from a come and go or a quickie mart? What gas station sells those? Yeah, it was some skanky one. <laughs> I got one. You put it on there, and it's supposed to vibrate at the very top, and then it just goes, and it hurt. But the thing is that with uh, with the horse clamp on its dick, it says to keep it from getting hard or just to keep it from getting inside the, the woman horse. I think a little bit of both, but I think mostly to keep it from going inside the woman horse. Well, why didn't they just put, isn't it, maybe this is controversial. Mm-hmm. But wouldn't it be easier to put a, like a blockade into the female's vagint instead mm -hmm. of a clamp on the dick? Well, why are they even in the same room together? Can't they just separate them? Sometimes you gotta keep two horses in the same pen. <laughs> yeah, but you keep you got one. no choice. Can't horses sleep outside? Yeah, they're both outside. Mm. But then why are they? <laughs> I, I don't get I it. I thought the reason why. Yeah, me neither. I like I said, reason... I might be remembering this completely wrong, but I do have a pretty clear memory of a horse with like a metal clamp on its dick. Hmm. I think that this, you were a part of a, like a human centipede slash pervert <laughs> ranch ha a man. Like a part of his exercise to see well, what he could get away with. What so, breeders will do is they'll put like a, basically a weather vane on a horse's cock yeah? to oh milk it. Oh my goodness. To oh, milk okay. him. Oh yeah. yeah. No, so that, they'll, yeah, yeah that, is that what you're talking about? No, so this milking. is not a milking yeah, situation. Because they, they, well that ain't milk. They get the stud to no have relations with the female horse. Yeah. And then Well that's uh, the scene out of Kingpin where it's they, like they just finish milking your cow no, and no, then well, it's like they have a they have a like a sock on the the horse's cock and then so he comes inside the horse. Oh my god. But then pulls out and he's got they've got a huge bag of cum. Yeah. It ain't easy to be a horse. Yeah, like, remember, leave him alone. Remember we used to like Google this like I three or every three or four table. months on round table? Yep, I yeah. know. Talked right. about pig semen a lot on that show. Oh so right. you just have the big bag of cum and then you sell it. You're done. You give it to his neighbors, the muleys, <laughs> and then they, I don't even want to know what oh, they do I'm with so it. Oh, I'm so excited for all this new sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, oh. Just get like a, a big fancy horse comes and just lick it all off the fucking thing. Oh, fancy. Did you just call it fa the fancy horse come? 
I guess it depends as opposed, on the kind of horse. <laughs> like Alright, let's... Like can we show <laughs> another video <laughs> and move on from Hines this is... conversation? Ay, ay, ay. That is very fun. What do you think it's eating? Carrots? That's carrots, I think. <laughs> Peaches. Peaches! Oh, and what is that? Is that a... Man. That's a cockroach there? Or? What is that? Why do they put little dresses on them? How do you make such a little dress? You just cut it out of a bigger dress. <laughs> Patience, Ben. <laughs> and what kind of bug are we talking there? That's a cockroach. That's a cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. It said so on the corner. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Didn't you see can't it. pick a cockroach out of a, of a lineup of different other bugs. Bugs all look the same, man. Yeah, they're horror. No, I couldn't You're pick a racist. cockroach. No, that's fucking <laughs> racist. June bug cockroach. Tell me the difference. One uh, looks June like a bug. beetle. One looks like a cockroach. Yeah. Water uh, mosquito. Oh. Water uh, bug. Water bug is much bigger than a cockroach, and it's lighter. It's the same yes, thing. Yes, and they have wings. Mm -hmm. Water bugs got wings. A cockroach does not. Yeah. I will argue the exact same thing about pigeons versus doves. They're the same bird. No, they, they are, are not pigeons, the same They bird. are the same bird. Pigeons are bigger, and they've got fuller chests, and they've got more upright uh, necks. No, they got pigeons bigger tits. Are, Dove, <laughs> pigeons are, I don't know. Tits. Doves yes, more streamlined. Do. And no. pigeons and squabs are basically the same. Also, have you ever seen a dove walk? It's just they it's, only float. Mm -hmm. It's branding. Yep. It's branding. Pigeons no. and doves are the exact no. same thing. No, mm. this is Absolutely. ignorance turning no. into mandate. This no. is what this is becoming. If I put a pigeon and a dove in front of you, you could tell the difference. Because yeah. the dove Absolutely would go, grr, not. Grr, grr, and the pigeon would try to suck your dick for a dollar. <laughs> no, pigeons. Well, I don't the, got a dollar. Pigeons are the original crust pucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. All right. So the doves are the. They're the same. It's. Yeah, I used to eat dove all the time when I was a kid, and dove is delicious. Is but I wouldn't really want to eat pigeon. Quick, well, pigeons question. are just working class doves. Mm. No, yeah, that's, that's all they that's are. If no, doves, doves were in the city, no, they, they, they would be pigeons. No, doves are uh, the pigeons of the south. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same animal. Can, can I ask you, how is the dove prepared? Uh, well, you usually just put it on the grill, or what you can do is you can take a jalapeno, uh, cut it in half, fill it with cream cheese, stuff it up in the cavity, wrap the whole thing in bacon, that's and put it in the oven. You just, you didn't have to add the duff. Delicious. You don't need the cream. The you don't need the duff. <laughs> yeah, no. Bacon wrapped jalapeno. No, but you put it up, You put it up in the cavity, and so the jalapeno, it just fills the what dove with spicy goodness. Why do farm people always have to find a cavity to fill? They're always looking for cavities to jam things in. See, that's what you don't understand a single thing about cooking is that that's how you imbue flavor to the mm. insides of the ribs. Is mostly yeah. you want to get some nice aromatics, like what I would do with the chicken, where you cut up a half a thing of garlic bulb and a thing of like lemon and lime, and you shove that up its pussy, and you take that oh, all, my. and then you you put a butter underneath its skin. Oh, and I never liked that it. part of it. The whole turkey thing, the jamming it all up, it, it was disgusting. I never you, understood but it. But I've seen you eat it with a big drunken smile on your face. How many times you go, when you don't want to think about the process that it took for it to get to you. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm perfectly comfortable with all of it. It's disgusting. <laughs> it, it's all, it's just, stuffing is just a bread enema. Mm -hmm. It is just disgusting. What, it, they jam it in and they take it out. And I don't, you, I don't need butt say, stuffing. You know what's weird? I don't need it. It's your sexualization. No, it, it's that not. It's, it weird. it's yes, it gross. Is. Yeah. It is it's, all I'm not sexualizing you. it. You're the one who was like, mm -hmm. no, yeah. I, you can make stuffing outside of an animal's butt. Because no, I've seen it done before. Juices. And you can't have stuff like stuff stuffed in your butt without it being sexual. <sighs> hmm. Think about that. If you're yeah, a turkey, I can. You can. When I was a little boy, and they had to check my temperature over and Let's over again, even though I told them to stop. <laughs> was that sexual? No. Okay. Right, well, there you go. Henry also told me that he didn't stop crying until he was six years old. But now I understand why, <laughs> because that is like really. Well, I'm what? sorry. Whatever it was that was done to me that I don't remember makes me the B plus performer I am today. This is why you love aliens. Mm. It's huh. all the temperature. It's wow. the probing. You, 
in your mind, when you were like three, you're looking at lights, you're getting like, hey, hello, Mr. Zabrowski, uh, we're just here to like uh, inspect you really quick. And then that happened to you, and now you're a ufologist. No, I don't think it's men in lab coats. I was just his mother shoving yeah. stuff up his yeah, butt. Yeah, maybe my she was wearing a lab coat. Depression way. She never mm. wore a lab coat. She never pretended to be a doctor. Um, <laughs> anyway. There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do more Robin Williams material. <laughs> Give us another, what was it, a toucan? Oh, Give us more oh, toucan material. I'm in Africa, and then, uh, hurry, I'm an Irish boxer. I do a voice <laughs> like Robin Williams. That's great. Man, you should have done that for your SNL audition. Fuck you. would have been... No, you would have been... <laughs> fucking ass. <laughs> Speaking of which, the next video, I just... This is a real thing that is, like, really going to be on TV. <laughs> And I'm just wondering if Whew. maybe Henry might have auditioned for this and didn't get it. Uh, but this is a real TV show that I just had to show you and share with you guys. Yeah, do it. Let's see what I haven't got the audition for. Coming to CBS Sundays this fall, the new drama, God Friended uh. Me. Uh, I refuse this audition. <laughs> did, you, did you hear about this? Yes. People, everyone searching for meaning and answers. There is no proof of God anywhere in the universe. He has a podcast. That and more on today's episode of the Millennial Prophet. I am your host. This got greenlit for that television. No and that is but it just show about podcasters. Everyone's so interested you know, about their anyone? lives. Yes, oh, why wouldn't they be? It's lazy so people doing radio. Dynamic going on. I thought I had it all figured out. But then something happened and it changed my life forever. I got a friend request from God. Oh my God. <laughs> what? I fucking hate you. This is on television? Kill yourself. This <laughs> Sunday's this fall. This oh, is coming up? Yeah. On yes. network television? Oh my God. Yes. Honestly, bring Roseanne back. I don't do even give a shit. <laughs> Just do you place Ro do you understand what this means? A pilot was made. The script was, was pitched. Yeah. It was written. It so went through sorry, many, sorry, many sorry. months of oh, thank notes, you. people coming in and talking about it, and all this bullshit. It oh was cast. The pilot was shot. This is which is a week of uh, shooting a pilot. And then it was uh, actually fucking. Oh no, John Dunn. Made oh, into a television sick. show. Yep. And as soon as this gets canceled, because no one watches it, everyone is going to protest that it's like anti-religion, anti-Christianity. In reality, it's the dumbest idea I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh, God. Yo, who the hell is Cara Bloom? Dr. John Andrews. Okay, I get it. I get I fucking get it. All right, you don't have to give multiple examples of the Marcus, fucking premise. you don't get it. Why do we because that God from... is now his friend on Facebook. <laughs> oh! Which, you know what that means, right? Is that Mark Zuckerberg, this is the underlying meaning of that. Mark Zuckerberg had to allow God to create a profile. So deep, oh. deep down, they're cramming in the psychic programming that Mark Zuckerberg's more powerful than their universal creator. That's great. Wait until God starts sending them dick pics. Oh. And then they. I want God a to send the team. Oh my God. We got a pulse. Let him die. <laughs> If they start making out, I would actually you like, okay. John Dove and he saved me. If you think about it, it's kind of like a grand design. Oh, Shut God. your oh, fucking God. mouth. Oh. Why is this happening? No! Part of your life. Social media has nothing to do with God. As a matter of fact, if you want to find spirituality, I would recommend getting off of social media. But I will say there is nothing more spiritual People and wonderful than the world of Hollywood. Of well, I know. <laughs> and, and people I know. making the show because actors are some of the most deep. They're down. deep mm -hmm. and, and incredible, but and directors are always innocent and never casting just a fuck. Wait a minute. No. You don't think Dad is behind this, do you? Really, Miles? He can't even use Netflix. Oh, I just can't you believe it? <laughs> he can't. And that's what they ended on. That's oh, the big my laugh. God. That's the big laugh that they ended no, on. No, Hollywood is the moral compass of our country, and no, as it I, should I be, just because it's I run by. Yeah, and I really want to thank Los Angeles for always being oh. the most woke, the most just like, oh. because the one thing about Hollywood, too, is that they really, really care about making sure everybody feels good and they certainly do. not about making money. No, no, absolutely no, not. no, absolutely no, not. no, 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 no
No, they want to uplift and they want to celebrate everyone, yes. every type of flag. That's what they want to do. They, it's never about making money. No, they didn't no. give our current president a 13 season fucking television show so he yeah. could mainstream his ideas into the hearts of the American people and become yeah, the leader yeah, yeah. of and the free world. And then cover every single fucking sneeze and breathe and breath that he fucking made. But now they're the moral compass of the country, Henry. They're going to save us. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. They're yeah, so they smart. Every time yeah. you meet with them, it's just like, just a genius. Like, they godfriend you because <laughs> you're so smart. Yeah. There was Ain't... like three different, um, there's like, I, I got asked to do three different. There was a lot of Christian uh, pilots this year for some reason. They go through phases. I believe like it. Like, one year, yeah, one yeah, year yeah. there will, like, last year, there was several SEAL Team 6-like shows. They're like right. a lot of army shows, a lot of military shows, and sometimes they'll do a big rollout. Like the year before that in comedy, you notice there was two different time travel shows. Yeah. There was there were uh, several other time travel pilots that were all based around the same time that went out that you'd go out for, and it's weird how they kind of all assume the same like we're all gonna go for one of these yeah and yeah, then yeah. what happens is is that one gets picked up and it cancels out the rest of them and then right. somehow this heap of shit got through the pack of the yeah. other ones well there was a wasn't there a show like lucifer or something like that it's they go through the, is yeah. that still on yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah well i hope it doesn't follow his God last name and me his last name is morningstar in that show yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucifer. Based on a, yeah, the based on actually a pretty on. awesome Vertigo comic, which was born from a Sandman story. So. God, so, that yeah, is... God Friended Me was picked up, but uh, this show somehow wasn't. Well, Travis, can we please play a, a palate cleanser? Oh. No, it's... We're, palate, we're cleansing the palate now. With let's this show... The, let's cleanse the palate. Let's cleanse the palate. Let's like really bring something around that people are going to enjoy. We'll do this one, then. Peter Boyle is a tough, ill-mannered cop who is run down <laughs> in the line of duty. Oh my god. <laughs> but that's not the end of his story. Yes. No, no. He's reincarnated. Ghost cop. Ha! Surprise! <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god! In Puchinski. What are you talking about? First I love I'm gonna this! I'm going to try licking myself, and then I'm going to catch my killer. <laughs> the talking dog teams up with his astonished well, former partner me? to put the bite on crime. Oh my god, look at It's that. touching. Look at me. I've become a dog. <laughs> it's all freaking in. It's I love it. It's oh precious God. life. It's unforgettable. Oh You're God, a dog. Cool. I'm a cop. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I would watch every single one of these movies. If they made 30 movies about Puchinski, I would watch every single one of them. I found that last night, uh, and the entire 22-minute pilot is on YouTube, so I'm yes. thinking about maybe for... My mandate next week, just watching the entire pilot from Pusinski. I would do that. I yes. would do that so in next, a please. So tune in, tune in next week where we're just going to watch the entire pilot to Puchinski. I can't wait. <laughs> you know I, 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 love, like, I love that he's Polish. I'm a, yeah. Isn't that Polish? nice? <laughs> it's from a Queen's activity. I miss those fucking shows. I want more shows with the talking dogs in them. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. Yeah. So, yeah, next week. Puchinski Live. What a cutie. Starring, part. what was that? that starring Peter Boyle. Peter comedy Boyle. legend Peter Boyle. And who, was that Andrew McCarthy on the other side of it? That other dude was famous as well. The only other person that I could possibly imagine that can possibly counter the powerhouse that is Peter Boyle <laughs> is Andrew McCarthy. <laughs> what a great acting gig for Peter, Bo uh, Peter Boyle. He just had to be there one day, yeah. get hit by a car, and then he's a dog. Yeah. So you, you can record that. He's from not a home. dog. He's a cop. He's a cop. <laughs> <laughs> and that, you know what it is, too? What would happen, though, is that, but then season two, maybe you do some stuff in heaven where Peter Boyle is like, well, I guess he's not. He is the dog. He's the dog. <laughs> he's already in heaven. He's a dog. Mm -hmm. Where's the dog? So he's the dog. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So his body is dead. Yeah. No, his body is the no, dog. No, his body. No, his human body is dead, and his soul. So, from what I can tell from the trailer, I haven't watched the full pilot episode yet. But from what I can tell from the trailer, his soul went into the body of a bulldog at the graveyard during his funeral. You don't think it's a little odd that his name was Stanley Puchinski before he died? <laughs> That's the thing. Oh, it could be possibly honestly, be. It could honest. possibly be that his entire lineage has some sort of. Man to dog soul jump.
jumping capabilities. I think Des Honestly, Destiny that is, is real. <laughs> if, if, if Puchinski becomes a talking dog. This Any concept idea. is a thousand times better than RoboCop. Yeah. Yeah. I would <laughs> take Puchinski <laughs> versus RoboCop any day. Any Puchinski. What we do is, okay, hear me out. If we got fucking like time, I would say it's Peter Boyle, what's the what what corris corresponds? Do you remember Lonnie Anderson? Of course. Mm -hmm. Lonnie Anderson. Burt Reynolds. Fucking dies of being murdered by her husband. And during her funeral, her big tittied ghost jumps into a dog as well. <laughs> Puchinski and a new big titty dog. What now, kind of dog semi, you think like, of the Maltese? Will they maybe something with, with a dog that you can imagine has big breasts. The two of them together, <laughs> he needs that. to help solve her human murder with them together. <laughs> but it's also sort of like a weird romance. Yeah, I love it. And then at some point, they look down at their little doggy cell phones, and God friended them. Oh, isn't that interesting? Uh, or dog friended them. Oh, so what you're thinking is Lady and the Tramp meets the Crow. <laughs> no guns on set. No guns on set. <laughs> That's the fucking wow. show, dude. Why That's haven't we been pitching show. this the entire time? All of our dumb fuck pitches that have gone nowhere. That's, That's all we had to do. Show, dude. <laughs> I'm a Great Dane. You're like a bizarre Chihuahua mix. Henry's a pit bull or a, a war bulldog, and that's it. Well, no, it's like what you have. It's like well, you guys are dogs, and then you kind of have to be. I'm the human counterpart, like cop, that it's just being like, I think I'm going crazy seeing these talking dogs. But then all of a sudden, now I'm riding with the dog and shit. Because the problem yeah. is that they can't accurately get the dudes that have murdered her. Like, and it's because the guy, like, let's say he's the head of a big pharmaceutical company. Sure. So then I have to go in there in the night and pretend to be like a bellhop or something and garrot him in his fucking yeah. sleep. And it gets super fucking dark. It goes super crisp. <laughs> all right. I like it. Let's pitch it. Yeah, let's pitch it. Let's do it. All right. Do we, what other videos do we? I want to watch that pro wrestling video, but I just I want to watch, watch that. That's for me personally. I want it. I want people to. I'm, I don't know what this is, Travis. I'm excited to be to be you fucking. This is yours. You sent this to me. So. Uh oh. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, are you sure it's? Is it arable? Oh, uh, there's a child involved. Let's play it and see. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what this one is. Hey man, uh, can I get the latest music lyrics from like uh, REM? <laughs> this is a library, dude. Not some big city music store. Oh. I love music store. God. Yeah man, REM's a hot band. Let's see what we can find on the net. Oh! oh yeah. It's about how Talk the internet helped libraries. Honestly, this, this was a better time in life. Hey, I'd go dude, back there in a heartbeat. Yeah. It's World Wide Web on the internet. Look and at that. World, World Wide Web on the internet? Network. Great song, Murmur is a good is. song. Yeah. Take your pick and yeah, I'll print it out for you. Song. Hey, Cheryl Crow's lyrics are here too. <laughs> Can I get some of them? <laughs> Fuck yeah! Some of hey, them. Man, that's why we've got this network. Both of those people were arrested and flogged by the LAPD for Napster. <laughs> they, were, they downloaded songs on Napster and were immediately killed. That I love that. Started. I love that. That brought back so many good memories. Man. The homepage. Uh, no one calls it a homepage All anymore. I used they to look at. They don't do it. The old days were better, man. They were so much better. We're old. But at text. least you know we're talking. But in the future, you won't know if these are our words or if there's some Jordan Peele. Mm. Because there's that Obama Whoa. video where Jordan Peele speaks as Obama. Uh -huh. Powerful. Yeah, but man, you remember, that's I... all I looked at, all my computer was for was Chris Farley tribute sites. Yeah. For like three years. Yeah. That the was Spawn basically... homepage was pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, oh. man, that was dope. Yeah. And I used to go on AOL to the nudie forums, and that's where I got, I would get all the clips from Gillian Anderson from her shoot from Rolling Stone. Do you remember that when she was in the blue cat suit? I do. I owned the issue. Man, oh man, I, would, I wasn't allowed to purchase Rolling Stone magazine. Oh no, my parents bought me Rolling Stone because it made him feel cool. Yes, the and wholesome then, life of a son who grew up to an alcohol with an alcoholic and YPD officer. That's what you do, man. It's like the net, man. Surfing the World Wide Web. I used to go out there and get that Jenny McCarthy whatever was available. Mm -hmm. That's what I would well, get, man. We used to just steal the uh, the three packs of adult magazines. And of course, in the middle was always the one for your friend 
who may have not been uh, straight. Mm -hmm. There is always the one they put in the middle. That's the surprise. That's the, the surprise egg. one. And of course, <laughs> that's all good. It's all, what, do whatever you want to do with your life. My question is, is that does R.A.M. really directly connect to Sheryl Crow? Uh, <laughs> like, no, honestly, I like if you, ty if you type in R.E.M. to Sheryl Crow, the thing that pops up immediately next to they, they may have been on the same record label at one point. That's I'm the only that. thing I can think. Uh, but, yeah. No, I do remember no, all, they did all not. text. Right? They possibly were, because I think uh, R.E.M., I think they went major label with Monster. Uh, and put out a few major label releases after that, so it's very possible they were on the same label. Let's say REM people also people also search YouTube, Pearl Jam, Radiohead, Neil Young, B-52s, Nirvana, Smashing Pumpkins, Red Hot Chili Peppers. So no. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> Shell Crow's got a whole other she's got a whole other vibe going on. Because if it makes you happy, is a really good one. That's a good mm -hmm. song. She also had like um, I don't like her new stuff, but there was a couple of good ones from that one album that had Home on it that was really good. That oh, I used yeah. to sit and I used to jay off looking at the cover of her face on it for some reason because <laughs> there was a, a lot of stuff that got in there. You know what I mean? There was yeah. a lot of weird. Oh, she's releasing her final album in 2019. I guess she's gonna commit. Suicide? <laughs> no, don't even say it. Don't even say it. She's that gonna would be, be all... fucked if she no. just did the last one. Oh, she's not gonna do that. We need Cheryl Crow. She was with. She dated Eric Clapton and she dated Owen Wilson. Wow. She dated Eric Clapton. I thought Eric yeah, Clapton man. was like married and always in mourning. Fucking no, dude. God, fucking God of guitar, man. So, really? so he's what, probably 40 years older than her? 75 years older than her, I think. <laughs> <laughs> she did, she, she uh, did, uh, she dated that cycling liar, Lance mm. Armstrong. That was the most public one. Honestly, yeah. man, you watched those documentaries. They were all juicing. They were. So technically, he is still the best. He's the they best. They were all on drugs. Mm. He's the yes. best of the juicers. Yes, he really was. I don't think that he. Give back, he, he should be able to keep one. Yeah. Give That's him all his I'm trophies saying. back, which I assume are just more bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We got another video? Oh, I want to play. I do want to do. Oh, yes. Play this video for a Oh, this we'll is this. funny. Yeah. This is uh, Titus O'Neil. He's running into the greatest Royal Rumble here. This is exactly how I would do it. This reminds me. <laughs> 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 this poor bastard. Oh! And, then he, he, and then he tried to be like, after the match, he's like, yes, I was trying to be secretive. Hide under the ring. Come on. It's like, obviously, a mistake. Wow. Can we show that one video before we wow. get to Henry's, the one that I put strangely funny, just because I just, I find, I just want people to see it, because... And I got one that I found strangely funny as well. Okay. Yeah, I just got to see. I got I want to show the world wild It's the first Steve. one I sent you in the email. Let me look at the email. Well, yeah, I hope I thought that you did look at the email. He did it he, back then, but he's got a lot of pressure on him right that now. That one there, strangely funny. Okay. He's got a man okay. hunting for his life 24-7. <laughs> Think about Travis's life. Every single time we give him shit, there's a man actively hunting to kill him tirelessly. All right. So, well, that's a great, tirelessly is a perfect word for this. <laughs> nice pun. Thank you. Oh, oh. and then watch oh. the second one. Oh, <laughs> but he I lives. He's out. Pissed. Thank God. But what I are the odds? I would be so pissed. <laughs> oh my like... God, would I be mad? <laughs> can, can we go back and just watch that again? It lands like what happened? Like how? How did your car get wrecked? It's like one of those stupid insurance commercials where it's like we cover that. Be like that never happens. Yeah. Go back and watch that again, Travis. Because the way that second tire comes in, it's just remarkable. And how do the tires even come off? I, mean, I don't know, man. I don't like it. It's all good. Oh. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> Where is this? Is this like Croatia? I don't know. Or Korea? Where is this? And the tire still goes. There is that movie about the tire. What was the name of that movie? Rubber. Rubber. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought this video was funny. Isn't that strangely funny? Well, I it's don't know. It's very. Oh, right. I'm trying to convince everyone it's strangely funny. <laughs> yeah, I think but we I thought reviewed it was rubber on the second episode of the last podcast. Really? I think we did. You didn't like it. I did like it. I didn't watch it. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. That's when we did. Oh, yes. That's right. That was like the first thing. Because I remember us talking about it. 
and then you guys went to record the episode, but then it's like you did a whole episode on it, but you didn't even you didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I are, watched it. Those are about my level of work has increased over the years. Well, let's never yeah. forget when I did the majority of the work. One episode. Second episode. <laughs> Rubber. I lo- yeah, it's, it's I never love been brought it. up since. <laughs> Damn! Someone just said it was Taiwan. Oh, okay. was where that episode was. Where, that yeah, video. all right. Travis, could you play the one that I said uh, called Fuck? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> the weirdest Red Bull challenge <laughs> ever. <laughs> Just a baby being born. Travis, can we play one more time? Wow. <laughs> 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 that would be me. That is, that yeah. is how Natalie will finally fucking convince well, me to do with the extreme sports that she always wants to do. And it's gonna be me. Yeah. Is that Baumgartner, the guy who like fucking did a backflip out of a space like a spaceship onto I, Earth? I have no Maybe. idea. Yeah. I Very don't. cool. I mean if that was done on purpose, that's great. <laughs> that is fucking first of all, that's terrifying. Yes. Yeah. Then I will never stuck do on it. When yeah, we met, we met, it. we met a couple of people at, I believe it was, maybe the Boston show or the Philly show. It was Boston. Boston, he, he teaches skydiving, and I told him I was 300 pounds, and then he oh, said, Oh, no, no, oh. it was the saddest, because the, the tee-up was, because he, he was like, guys, we got to take you, all of you, go skydiving. And then Kissel was like, yeah, I'd like to go skydiving. He's like, <laughs> how much you weigh? And then Kissel's like, do you fat? And he went, <laughs> um... <laughs> no, he's like, he, he said, oh, uh, we, we took someone who was like 300 pounds one time. Um, uh, but it was like, no, it was like the least reassuring response of all time. He's like, ah, it's not happening. Like, if maybe if we take it. off your shoes and we shave your head a little bit, maybe we can get you on there. Yeah. <laughs> cut, off, cut off my feet. Um, yeah. Yeah, dude, that shit's scary as fuck. That's I would never do that- it. Natalie really wants to go do all. I'm so scared of doing uh, uh, jumping out of a plane. You're Polish. I wouldn't yeah. even like it. I would literally no. the whole time I'd be in the plane just going, ah, ah, and then he'd put me on the thing and I'd just be, I'd be fight slapping him and stuff yeah, like as he's fighting me. Like, yeah, you did, don't you dare! And then he'd fling me out of the side of it and just, I'm not enjoying the splendor. No. It's the physical equivalency of someone taking a cigarette, dipping it in PCP, and being like, have some. You're going to have a great time. It's yeah, going to be a nightmare. I'm thinking about it. D- PCP? No, the skydiving. They said they do it for free. And why not? Yeah, well, he loves it. I went bungee jumping once. That was super fun. Well, then you should do it then. Yeah. I, honestly, you should do it if you are super jazzed about it. I'm pretty jazzed. I was pretty jazzed when they told me. Just got to convince really- the lady. No, just do you have to do it yourself? No. You know no, what you should do with her? She would maybe, never. Is this that. against the law to like maybe give her like a couple of Ambien? <laughs> yeah. And then she gets in there. She just gets into throw the plane. Her out of the plane. <laughs> but then you dive it so that she wakes up and you're like, we're skydiving for free. And she's just like, what? And then like, <laughs> <laughs> highly illegal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe if they threw a bunch of like burgers or something out there before and then you had to go like find them, that would be kind of fun. That'd be really fun. I but love I hamburgers. That, yeah, it doesn't really work that way. A lot of the streamer are asking stuff like, don't they just have bigger parachutes? And no. I was like, I don't think that that's the problem. No, it's because the person who is in charge has to be in front. I am behind. Theoretically, their legs have to hit first, and it would just be me standing up as soon as we hit, and they would just be hanging there like this. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, okay, I was supposed to be the trainer, but I guess I am now the toddler. It doesn't make any sense. The whole thing, I would need to get George Mirasan to be my skydiving instructor, and then maybe I could do it. I have to be the baby. It's not possible. It's really fun to think of a toddler on your back and falling yes. down. Just a full-grown man, just like, please let me go. Release the pack. But you're in charge. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's fuck. fun. Oh, all good, right. good gizzle. Um, uh, can, all right, video. I want to introduce the world to Wild Steve. 
right. <laughs> Yo, what's up, you fucking pussies? This is fucking wild, Steve in the fucking building. You don't understand what time it is. This is fucking wild, Steve, motherfuckers. In 2010, almost 2011. Get your straight up, motherfuckers. You don't know shit before you get your act up straight. That's right. You know, this is fucking wild, Steve, the heavyweight. Mosh skills, mosh. You don't mess with me, motherfuckers. You don't know shit till you know the real fucking deal, motherfuckers. Oh, man. You really, really, really want to know the real deal. You want to get your mosh head straight in, all this bullshit? I don't think you want to because, hey, this is what happens if you fuck with the real motherfucking Steve. He's a good reader. Here he goes. <laughs> He's rocking. I do. He's, He's definitely by his... He's by his grandmother's plate set, which I hope he doesn't... <laughs> Oh my good, look at those. <laughs> he is, he, those are some moves. <laughs> oh wow, my. Dude. Am man, I wrong about that? Those man. were shocking, no, right? Man. Those were, um, what's the name of the guy? Oh who God, got, he's got a knife. Oh, oh he's no. got a fucking knife. Holy so hell. Go put it back up again. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Good traps, dude. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, now, whoa. This is before people understood what worldwide meant, I think, <laughs> when it comes to the internet. Whoa, whoa look how it, loose whoa. he's got. He technically has he is. No, yeah, he is. He like, has, he man, has some, he's, What's the name of the serial killer? Fucking mosh kills. I'll see you. i see you. You want to fuck me? You want to fuck with me? you get mushed. Fucking 817, mushed. Get mushed, mushed. dude. Get it get in fucking your mush. fucking skulls. You get fucking mushed if you fuck with me. <laughs> fucking wild Steven is fucking bitch. Keep talking shit. You'll see what happens. Cut it off before he says something really bad, Travis. <laughs> no idea if he's gonna say right. it. Mm. Fucking wow. get guess... mushed with me, man. 347, man. Good yeah. for him. I guess from Dallas. Really? Yeah, 817. That's a Dallas area code. Okay, good to know. We, uh, maybe he was at our show. In which case, uh, thanks for listening. No, we didn't can get I, mushed. Can I say honestly, he's, his body's pretty reminiscent to Lena Dunham. <laughs> Maybe. It's Beautiful like in close. every single way. Beautiful I mean, in perfect. every way. It's perfect. Yeah, it should be perfect. celebrated. It's perfect. But it, honestly, the first thing I thought yeah. when I looked at I it was fucking wanting dogs. to suck on her tits. Look mm. at his fucking those little flappy little flappers. Uh, do we want to do this? Can we do that Macho Man video? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. not sure if it's funny or not. Get mush, man. But after that, let's do pee pee piss. But I don't <laughs> What are you doing here, Macho Man? What are you doing in Bangkok? Pop that pussy. Oh, you pop that pussy. That's it. Very good. Snap into a Slim Jim, buddy. There it is. Okay, wow, very exciting. That is great. That <laughs> Thank you. They say I don't bring video. anything to the show. Here's <laughs> 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 one I found strangely funny. I think this is legit funny. You're not laughing though. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm actually contemplating how my body looks the exact same as that person's and feeling kind of weird about it. <laughs> I like it has a like asshole. It's a it's a troll or an elf? Hey, that's, a, that's, a a, that's a gnome. That's a gnome. I think that's a gnome. Okay. How would one even get their body like that? <laughs> I, this is good. The guy's very talented. Did not clean up the room. Not nah. even close. This is a dorm room, I think. This has got to be college. I have a very oh. similar butt to that creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With like one of them hanging down a little bit more than the other. I straight up. It's, that is my body. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> I like it. Steven, what are you doing in your room? <laughs> Steven, stop playing the keyboard. We're trying to have dinner with the Aunt Clara. Leave me alone, Mom. 
Steven, are you playing that gnome keyboard <laughs> pervert game again? <laughs> Steven, come down. We're playing Monopoly with your Uncle Barbara. <laughs> I'm very proud of Uncle Barbara. Steven, come down here. We're having the wake for your Uncle Barbara. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is actually good music for a wake. Yeah. No, it's not. It's haunting music for a wake. <laughs> That's the whole point of a wake. Whoa, what's that? Thanks for, for waxing. waxing. Oh, that's funny. There is a... That's a very strange image there. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good. Ah. Yes, that is very good. They're very much... We're going to have more from him next week. The internet was going to make us smarter. I the don't care. Wrong. You know what? The, I, I understand that the internet's supposed to technically make us smarter, and we're supposed to be sitting, talking with, like, like an Epcot, where it was always, like, the cute little... It was, like, cute little Asian girl talking to the white boy across the thing, and it was supposed to be all, all races and stuff together. But I think that it's, it's important to really stress-test reality, and that we're doing a good job at it. And we'll see what happens if it really falls apart it's supposed to, right? Yeah, just wait until the uh, fake videos show up. Then oh. it's going to be... Uh... A challenge. It's well, then, all over. All you can hope is, because they're actually talking about how more, uh, the younger generations are starting to eschew the phone. They're starting to say that the they're, they're it's going to soon be super radical to be like at the park with your friends. No, it it will be. There's a there is a massive push for that. Yeah. But at the same time, there's going to be no truth in anything, and people yeah, won't be able to decide you know what's where truth or fiction. You know fiction. where the truth? Kissel, my friendship with you. My mm -hmm. friendship with Marcus. There is mm -hmm. truth at the center of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, how we've mm -hmm. shielded titties from the violence on the streets that we took him from. That now that yeah. he can, he has a place mm -hmm. to be. Um, the, when of. I look at Wendy, Wendy is real. If if so, you haven't cut her open to see. No, um, I'm not so going to. So maybe you to. do want. Maybe you. Maybe. It's good enough. Maybe. It's good enough. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> and Natalie's real, as far as I'm concerned. I keep feeling it. Uh, no, you haven't cut her open to see. I mean, I just feel like we're going to have to start slicing and dicing here to make sure what's... I've been no, watching no, Westworld. No, 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 no. The production, the production of feces is enough proof of reality. Interesting. Poop of reality. <laughs> the poop is uh, in the pudding. This is great. Uh, <laughs> but I really do believe fun. this, though. I do believe that that's what will be going back to being real. You know what's, super, you know what's real? Jenga. Yeah, the game? The, the blocks are right there. Uh, and what's yeah. realer than gravity? Or is it? Are ghosts real? Let's see. <laughs> well, I was gonna. <laughs> is, that a, is that a segue <laughs> to a video? It sounded like a segment. <laughs> and you picked, I mean, you picked up what he was putting down. Yeah, I did pick it up, but I don't think he was putting was gonna, down anything. I was gonna end the, ghost. I was gonna end the night by telling the time I saw a ghost. Oh, oh, oh that's great. With a yeah, story. Yeah, right. yeah, with yeah, a ghost yeah. story. Yeah. Uh, so I'm from a military family, so we moved every year. Do we have mm -hmm. any spooky music to play underneath it? Or? Uh, let me look while I'm telling you the know, story. You can play the, just play the same video again. That's a pretty, that's some pretty <laughs> yeah. spooky music played. Yeah. Okay. yeah great. <laughs> this great. So when I was nine, uh, we moved to Tacoma, Washington, mm -hmm. uh, to an army base there. Uh, the thing is, we were rushed into this military housing, like, in a weird, like, it was too quick. Like, usually there's sort of uh, a year in between or something. We were rushed into this house. And uh, none of the kids in the, the sort of military cul-de-sac would talk to me or my sister. And so for a couple mm. weeks, we were just sort of alone uh, in this new house. And uh, one night, I, uh, I was going to sleep. Mm -hmm. And the door to my room s slowly started to open. And a man in PT... Uh, PT slacks and a gray sweatshirt walked into my room turned at the door and started to lay down sort of horizontally on no bed on a thing that wasn't there and then turned to me on his side and disappeared now the next morning I got from underneath my covers because I had been hiding there all night and I went outside and uh, a kid approached me and was like okay so have you have you seen anything in the house and I said, yes, I did. And it turns out that right before we got there, a soldier returned from the Middle East on tour, had PTSD, believed that his young wife was cheating on him, shot his wife in the bathtub, shot their toddler in the bathtub, and then shot himself. 
in the same bathtub, and then we were immediately moved into the to the building. <laughs> you know, sometimes we do have to ask different questions on the resume. Yeah. <laughs> like, are you haunted? Yeah, um, but we've had him. Okay. He's been around for too long for us to even think about getting rid of him now. No, he, yeah, no, he, he actually knows too much. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I would say that. Yeah, I mean that's a. I mean that's a fantastic story. I don't know why you yeah. saved it until this moment for us to fucking have heard this before. I wish yeah. I had known yeah. because the it's great. And also, also, I had no idea you had a sister. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You guys a lot still, of secrets. Yes. Is she? Is she like? You have. You still continue to have a sister, or? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I will. So I saw her like a year ago. I went Are you your own sister? I went down. <laughs> I went down to Georgia and had and like had dinner with her, uh -huh. and we've had the same kind of like traumatic childhood, and so I and I hadn't seen her in a long time. So immediately when I see her, she starts pouring all this stuff out onto me and she's right. like drinking whiskey after whiskey and I'm like hey um, not to be like condescending or anything but have you tried going to therapy and she like slams her whiskey down and she says yeah I went to therapy once and they fixed me and <laughs> that's the last time I saw her. I like your Ooh, sister. Wow. I actually would like to meet her honestly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No definitely. I mean if for you like an hour. Him. No, I want to hang out with her. I want to hear all those haunted stories that Travis keeps inside. If you drank we would hear these on a weekly basis. Well, that's the end of that. Uh, <laughs> well, can we go out? I guess we'll end the whole episode. Do you want to go out in a, on a spooky yet interesting song? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, thank you, Titties. This has been this has been great. <laughs> Damn it! I'm what so is this song? <laughs> All this is is literally a collection of Halloween sound effects with parts put on the top. Is the, what you said, Damn it! Because you wanted to play this. I was gonna play this next week. Wow! Oh, sorry, wow! Like mine, though. Like That's mine. That's hilarious. <laughs> like mine. Like mine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Friends like these. Who needs a child? All right. Great well, guys. Thank you guys. Hail yourselves. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in Portland in a couple of days. See you in and Portland. We'll be, uh, we'll be doing this live from San Diego Comic-Con. And if you are at San Diego Comic-Con and you want to maybe come and see the circus and what we're doing, just come by the table. It will be all set up. Come one, come out. We'll say hello. Yeah, fuckers. Night, guys. Bye.